getting rid of a headache and muscle pain can often make you walk on over to the medicine cabinet when we come back here on Good Day Chicago this morning. We've got some non-drug alternatives coming up with a doctor and a pain expert. Right, Darlene, thanks. It is a habit for a lot of people. We're talking about feeling pain, whether it's a headache, a backache, any other sort of ailment you have. And the first thing they do is reach for the pain pills or ask for a prescription. But our next guest says that medication doesn't always have to be the answer. We've got with us today Dr. Ken Red Cross, internal medicine doctor yes. and also founder of Red Cross Concierge. Thanks Thank for you. coming on because this is so be important. And we're talking about how to actually identify the problem and how important that is before you just mask it with yeah, pain pills, you're which so, so many right. people are doing. When you're talking about pain being a massive issue, you're talking about 125 million people to spend $300 billion a year on pills, pot, and procedures, which can be actually potentially addicting. So what I like to do when I talk to patients, I say, you know what, we're going to start with our diet, we're going to start with relief remedies, and then we're going to talk about lifestyle changes sure. that we can make. Not just addicting, but they can turn into poisons in our communities. This is where a lot of the crime stems from. Police trying to get a, you know, a, a grab on Absolutely. spending, getting Absolutely. all these out of here. And so let's talk about just like your normal ailments at home, headaches, joint pains, maybe you work out. Yeah. You say we can solve those issues by eating certain We foods. actually can look in our cupboards for a lot of okay. what's out there, Kristen. Right. You know, as we look over here, one of the common complaints patients come to me for are muscle pains. Right. So when I talk about that, I always think of two important things. Number one, tumor. I love tumor because it's a natural anti-inflammatory right? and it's okay. a base of a lot of Indian cuisine. They've been using it for thousands of years, so it's something that's very beneficial. Okay. You'll see here this beautiful assortment of nuts, sunflower seeds, almonds. Right. All of those are important because of the magnesium. Magnesium is very important for the relief of our muscles as far as <laughs> joint pain and that sort of thing. Now, as we keep going, we also need to think of a relief remedy. Once again, we have the Epsom salts, salts there. Once again, they leverage the benefits of magnesium. And even for my chocolate enthusiasts, I have cocoa powder <laughs> because that also has magnesium as well. So chocolate lovers can kind of get in there as well. And put that uh, salt in your bathtub too even and sit in That's it. That's exactly what you do. That's exactly what you do with it. Now, when we talk about a relief remedy for muscle pain, one of the ones I love the most is very important. That's why I have these beautiful daisies here. <laughs> you didn't bring those for me? I, I kind of did, <laughs> kind of, sort of. Two reasons besides okay. bringing them to okay. you. One is to make sure that we're thinking about being closer to the earth when we're trying to get healthy. The second reason is there is a wonderful remedy here for muscle pain called Arnica Montana, but it's also called the Mountain Daisy. I love it because it's important because it has two ways you can use it. It has a gel and the cream, and it also has the pellets, which are good for generalized pain. But the gel and the cream are great for more localized pain, and you don't get that menthol sure. medicine right. smell with it. So I love it for that reason. And also with kids going back to school for school sports, it's even better to have something that helps with pain, swelling, and bruising like Arnicare does. Safe and easy, and you said you can find these things in your kitchen. Let's let's talk about how we got here very quickly. Is yeah. it the doctors over-prescribing, or is it people being too quick on the trigger <laughs> saying, I got to have something to mask this pain? I, I will say as a physician, we have to own a little bit of it but you know a lot of that has changed over the years we also have to make sure that we educate our patients patients should actually be like a member of your family as far as with your doctor so there's some things that we do have to touch upon all right so easy to find this stuff and it is the first thing that you should do before you start reaching for the pill bottle because it's no good once no you get good on that at all. track not long term thank you for being with us Corey and Natalie <laughs> back inside to you